our today's topic is an introduction to artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is an attempt to make a computer a robot or other piece of technology think and process data in the same way as humans do the term artificial in artificial intelligence refers to the fact that artificial intelligence is made by units called perceptrons which are similar to the human brain's neurons and are the processing power behind artificial intelligence intelligence can be defined as the capability to obtain knowledge and skills and to apply those to various situations without supervision intelligence is made up of reasoning learning problem solving perception linguistic intelligence etc as in the case with children intelligence is often linked to learning as a child grows he learns from the parents siblings teachers friends and the society in general as well as how they interact with their environment while some learning is taught other concepts are acquired and uh, dwelled by a child through observation artificial intelligence is the creation of machines that learn and think as intelligently as human beings machines we know are traditionally known to follow rigid instructions contemporary machines are designed to think and uh, have the capability to perform tasks by learning the term artificial intelligence was first coined by john uh, mccarthy in 1956 according to him artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines especially intelligent computer programs next is need for artificial intelligence the need for artificial intelligence is fueled by the fact that it is a technology that can enhance machines by equipping them with intelligence artificial intelligence supports existing products with intelligence and support their performance by taking it several notches higher ai redefine automation as it performs critical computerized tasks tirelessly ai lets the data do the programming as it works through progressive learning algorithms ai efficiently analyzes deeper information using neural networks to unravel data encrypted under several layers ai works with incredible accuracy which was earlier impossible to achieve ai creates avenue for greater competitive advantages as it extracts the most out of simple data types of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence can be distinguished under two headings type 1 and type 2 based on its primary functions applications and its learning stages type 1 on the basis of the functions number 1 is purely reactive uh, artificial intelligence the most fundamental form of uh, artificial intelligence where the machines perform based on the presently available data in the current situation using narrowed down predefined tasks and uh, cannot either form memories and use past experiences nor assess the future implications examples of purely reactive artificial intelligence are computer games like deep blue ibm's chess playing uh, supercomputer and uh, google's alphago second type is limited memory artificial intelligence here the machines are capable of doing tasks but with limited memory to assess steps in the current situation as it uses data from its uh, prefed history examples of limited memory artificial intelligence are uh, the self driving cars and uh, chatbots trained through machine learning third type is theory of mind artificial intelligence this is perhaps most challenging and yet in its early developmental 
phases. This type of artificial intelligence should be able to train machines to comprehend human emotions, thoughts, beliefs, and expectations to imitate the same in order to become socially interactive. Fourth is self-aware artificial intelligence. This form of artificial intelligence will help the machines understand and have consciousness. These machines will be highly self-aware and uh, can take decision based on that judgment. Today, humans may be far from creating such elevated form of uh, artificial intelligence, but researchers uh, are dedicated to this cause aiming this dream uh, a near future reality. Second type is type two on the basis of learning stages. First is artificial narrow intelligence, ANI, also known as weak artificial intelligence. At this stage, machine can only perform very narrowed down specific tasks without any ability to think or comprehend on its own. Most common examples of uh, ANI are uh, Apple Siri, Amazon Alexa, Humanoid Sophia, etc. Second is Artificial Journal Intelligence, AGI, uh, also known as Strong Artificial Intelligence. This allows machines to think as wide as much as humans can. And the third one is Artificial superintelligence, ASI, uh, superintelligence. This is the stage where machines and computers surpass human intelligence and uh, uh, take them over. It is not a reality uh, as of today, but a highly speculative uh, one, as a lot of uh, experts are uh, divided between positive and negative aspects of the same. Next is, how does artificial intelligence technology work? Artificial intelligence technology involves the use of algorithms, computer programs, and statistical models to enable machines to collect data, process information, recognize patterns, and make decisions based on that knowledge. The huge task of uh, simulating or creating intelligence is uh, broken down into sub problems in order to create intelligent systems uh, which can exhibit smart behavior with an uh, in uh, built ability to learn validate explain and suggest uh, course of action to its users and uh, to help machines find solution to complex problems in a similar way that humans do and Artificial intelligence system is composed of two main elements, an agent and its surrounding environment. An agent can be either a human or a machine. An agent can be uh, anything that can perceive its environment through sensors and act upon that environment through effectors. Different steps uh, of artificial intelligence working are number one, Data collection. Data collection is one of the most critical parts of developing an artificial intelligence system. It's the process of collecting vast amounts of data to train AI systems. Data can be in any format, text, numbers, images, videos, or audios. The format we put our data uh, in depends on whether we use structured or uh, unstructured data sets. Second step is data pre-processing. AI systems need accurate, up-to-date and relevant information for the best results. Data smoothing, also known as noise removal, is an essential process in data processing. Uh, for this, look through the training data like stock prices, interest rates to find any incorrectly formatted values. Then include or remove dollar signs, ensure the decimal uh, is in the right place, and remove any other abnormalities. Then third is model selection. Many AI models are available, including machine learning algorithms, deep 
neural networks or hybrid model using various techniques. In addition to different types of AI algorithm, several types of machine learning are available like uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, uh, reinforcement learning, etc. The choice of the model depends on several factors, including the amount of data, the time we have to wait for training, total resources, the type of data, and the total budget. Fourth step is training the model. The training stage comes when we pre-process the data and use the model. During this phase, data will be separated into two sets, a training set and a validation set. Then chosen model will begin reading data set using uh, mathematical and uh, computational models to look at data patterns and create an output model to help it make future prediction. The time this takes depends uh, on the amount of training data and how large a model plan to train. Fifth is testing and evaluation. Here we have to take several measurements when validating an AI model like accuracy, precision, and recall. Problems can arise from a few uh, scenarios, including poor data, uh, underfitting, and biases. Next step is model optimization. Model optimization is the process we go through to improve an AI model's performance. We can change the neural network's weight or the AI algorithm used to tune the model. Adjusting the model's architecture means adding and removing layers from the neural network to change the connection between the layers and the better captured data complexities. Then regularization techniques help prevent overfitting, which is uh, useful when models perform well on trained data, not unseen data. Next step is Deployment. Deployment is the final stage of the model development, like a cycle after finishing training and optimizing AI, uh, AI model. And the last step is continuous learn. AI models are not something that train one time. We must regularly train our models on new information to continue uh, seeing accurate output. We can do this in a couple of ways. The first is to fine tune our base model. And another way to update AI model is through reinforcement learning human feedback. Next is applications of artificial intelligence. Common applications of artificial intelligence include natural language processing, gaming, speech recognition, vision systems, image recognition, decision making, credit scoring, e commerce, self driving cars, uh, and more. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.